Hey guys, my name is Zach, and today I've got something a little special for you. This is the Azio Levitron Mech 5 Gaming Keyboard Unboxing Slash Review. So stick around and enjoy. Okay guys, so first thing first on this review, we've got the box. You know, the box is actually one of the most important things about a product because it is the thing that customers will see and that will appeal to them. So, uh, yeah, so this thing, it's not bad, you know. It's got a nice picture of the product on the front, which is what everyone will see, so everyone will be drawn to it. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and look at the back of the box. Just turn that over. I don't actually have the keyboard inside there right now. So, uh, what we've got is we have mechanical keys a Windows on and off button, a numeric keypad, a macro d-pad, unlimited profiles, modular design, anti-ghosting, a handy dandy volume knob, a water resistant design which means that like if you spill something on there by accident it will drain itself properly so don't touch it, don't shake it, all that kind of good stuff. And we have the uh, package contents right here. So let's go ahead and look at the back from a uh, farther view. So here we got the uh, keyboard itself. So without further ado guys, let's go and get started on the unboxing. Okay guys, so now for the moment that we have all been waiting for, we are now going to unbox the Levitron Mech 5. So without further ado, let's get started on this bad boy. Just undo these little things right here, or whatever they're called. Alright, so on the top we have the keyboard. I'm just going to set everything aside and then individually go over every piece. Alright, so that was the keyboard by the way. We have our software and CD, quick start guides, modular numpad, modular D-pad, and the USB cable for our numpad. So everything on here has Cherry MX black switches besides, I think if I'm not mistaken, the D-pad, which doesn't seem to feel that have that uh, same click, but whatever, no big deal. As long as, you know, the main things have it. And I don't think I'd want mechanical switches on my D-pad since my D-pad's gonna be, you know, the fastest thing I've gotta get to. And the, these Cherry MX blocks, which is, if I'm trying to get something fast and quick and, you know, stuff like that, they're kind of like, they're, they're harder to push than, you know, most other things. So, yeah, no big deal, no big deal. So let's go ahead and just take this plastic stuff off of everything so I can show you guys how all this works. Now this keyboard is especially going to be one of its kind because I've never seen anything like it. So right here we have these uh, two little uh, things that you can open for the numpad. You can actually put it on either side that you want because it's got the USB on both sides. So you can always hook the cable up to it if you wanted to or you can just put it on the, you know, the, the keyboard. So here are the, here is the uh, volume scroll wheel, I totally forgot what this is called, our windows on off button, our A, B profile kind of thing, and uh, our macros right here. By the way guys, here's the sound, and on this, it sounds the same. We have rubber grommets and stuff like that on the bottom as well as height adjustment if you don't want to put it on the keyboard. Same with right here. We got head adjustment. I actually like this design. It's kind of compact and nice. Rubber grommets, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and actually put on the uh, numpad. So we can put it on either side. I'm just going to put it on the right side right now. And we'll try both sides. So the way you do this, you just unlock this and slide it on in there. 
that you get a perfect fit. And then just lock it back. So now it just looks like your normal large keyboard. So da -da -da -da. And the way you um, disconnect it is there is a small, just go ahead and turn this over for you guys, release on the bottom right here that you hold down so you can open this, and then you just pull out. That simple. So it's pretty easy to do everything on here, no doubt with that. So I'm just going to show you guys on the other side of the keyboard, same exact deal. And locked in place. And we have a little button. Do that and just undo the lock down here as well. If I, my hands are a little small, so let me just kind of do it like this. Oops. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the D pad now. Oh, by the way, guys, this is also a braided cable with a gold plated USB. Oh, actually. Totally almost forgot. Got two USB ports on the top. You can either hook up your D-pad and numpad to these or just completely leave them out. Doesn't matter whatever you want to do. And uh, two USB uh, port or connectors for one, I guess, for the keyboard and then the other possibly for the two USB ports right here. Not completely sure, but I'm gonna take a educated guess on that one. So the way you actually plug in the D-pad, this D-pad's pretty sweet. Not gonna lie, I mean it moves, swivels, it's even got little uh, feet down right here that you can, uh, if you didn't want it on the keyboard, you can just uh, take it off and put it on the side. But this keyboard's kinda got like a little gun rail kinda design to where you can slide whatever you want, or not whatever you want, the D-pad, excuse me, onto it pretty easily. And it makes that little click clocking noise, which is kind of awesome. So you can have it cover your F1 keys if you want to just quickly, da, 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 or you can flip it up if you don't want it there because your F your F keys are kind of important in some games, especially say Battlefield 4, if you need to uh, switch vehicles. So say in Battlefield 4, you're using it the entire time, getting a vehicle, flip it up real fast, no big problem, and stuff like that. Or you can just slide it all the way over. It doesn't matter, whatever you want to do. <laughs> so yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll put this back. Uh, there it is. So the way we uh, actually connect these, let me do that real fast to show you guys. Just plug them in right here. Or that, and if you didn't actually want to uh, have the numpad on the keyboard, you can just, um, okay, I'm getting mixed up here. You can take it and just uh, plug it in here and then plug it into the keyboard and do it like that if you want it. Uh, a little bit a ways away. It's totally up to you. I mean, there are so many options. Customizability here is outstanding. Also, there is a little uh, rest right here that's not detachable, but for me, that's kind of good because sometimes I lose those and that's not pretty when you do that. Because then, you try and sell it, it's kind of like, well, I don't have that anymore. But whatever, that's about it for that little discussion. That was weird. So, what, uh, what am I going to do here? So, I am going to not upload this video until I actually test this thing out and stuff like that. I want to use it for a few days to make sure there aren't any problems and I will update you guys with that and then upload the video after I've done that. So um, we're going to actually go ahead and go do the software install and stuff like that. One more thing, let's go ahead and check out the quick start guide. It pretty much just tells you all the things that I showed you how to do, like uh, connect the numpad, the D-pad, and how to do the releases and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So let's go ahead and move on to the software install. Okay, guys, one more thing. Like I said, I do apologize for the stupid air conditioner, but I cannot turn it off. So I've got the keyboard hooked up, not yet installed the driver software that is on the CD, but I just did want to show you guys one thing. The numlock is actually on the numpad itself, so if you guys were wondering why it's like not there, that's that's why. So this, we've got a scroll lock right here, and as well as caps lock on the keyboard, key, bleh, keyboard itself. So I just want to show you guys that real fast. And uh, Windows button, I'm going to press it, it works. I'm going to turn it off, see, little LED, 
I'm gonna press it. Nope, so that works. That's pretty sweet. And uh, I got the D-pad hooked up via USB right here. It kinda suck is if they didn't include the little USBs right there, but it's really nice that they did because then you would have to have the D-pad going all the way to your computer, which probably wouldn't be long enough. So anyways, guys, uh, let's move on to the software. Okay, guys, so now we're in the final portion of this video. This is the gaming uh, software for the Mac 5, so let's go ahead and get started. I will point out, though, that you really do need to read the user guide. It's kind of confusing at first, but once you get how to use the software, it's actually really easy. So let's go ahead and make a profile. And the way you do this, you hit Default Profile, New, and we'll name this YouTube, just because. Okay, I'm really bad typer. All right, hit Save, Apply. Oh, might want to activate that. The way you activate whatever profile you want, you hit active. You check the box. So let's let's make multiple mul blah, 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 multiple profiles just to show you guys that you can have unlimited amounts. It doesn't matter. So we've got multiple profiles here. Hit apply. OK. So now it knows that we're using the profile YouTube. Now the way we set macros up, we hit new. We can name the macro whatever we want. Let's name it test. Hit enter. Come down here. Hit record. This will pretty much uh, allow us to set whatever keys we want typed or key we want typed to that macro. So let's type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. So we have a 1 millisecond delay from that. Let's hit stop record, apply, OK. So now, Zach, you're probably wondering how we actually take that and apply it to a single macro. Well, we do this right here, guys. You can assign any key on this keyboard that uh, is macroable to uh, that. So pretty much any key on here is macroable. That's what I meant to say. I just kind of screwed that up. But uh, the only keys that you can't actually uh, assign macros to are these two buttons up here, the uh, profile selection on the fly and the uh, windows on off button as well as the volume knob. And I forgot to mention that the volume knob does light up. In my video, it doesn't for whatever reason, but it's lit up now, so whatever, I don't know. Maybe it just hadn't loaded the software all the way up. So uh, let's go ahead and sign it to D-pad 1. The way we do this, play macro, and we select test. Now if we had more macros created, there would be obviously a longer list, but so we only have one. So we'll hit apply. And notepad's got a notepad, so we'll hit D-pad 1, and bam, that simple. So we've just created a macro in less than three minutes. So yeah, um, thanks guys for watching my unboxing slash review of the Mech 5 gaming keyboard. Let me know how I did uh, in the video by your comments, likes, and dislikes. I'd appreciate that very much. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.